Hello everyone and welcome back to our extremely chaotic zoo here in Let's Build a Zoo where I am doing my best to learn from my mistakes and rally ourselves from looking at the dark side in order to become a more morally good person all because I have the very big dream of being able to open up a recycling center and hopefully an animal wildlife release hub. Oh, I have big dreams, friends. I have big dreams. And I also have very, very, very big bills. We are struggling so hard with being able to keep our money up to any degree. We have a gigantic pile of loans and not that much profit. We have so many animals that we are trying to feed. It's getting more and more expensive. And we also need to go ahead and hire ourselves some new keepers. Oh, all right, let's take a look at these two. We have Karina. Ooh, she's actually very polite, a hard worker with great energy. Oh, wow. And then we have Marcos, who has like no work ethic and no politeness. All right. I think we know which one we're going to go ahead and hire. We'll pay her a little bit above market rate. In fact, a lot above market rate. I want her to be happy. We're going to close the position. And then let's go ahead and have our new employee, Karina, go ahead and help out with the geese and the rabbits up here. The faster we can have this area taken care of. In fact, actually, I'm just gonna have her be responsible for like geese for just the minute. Yeah, that should, that should do. We'll have her responsible for just geese. And then we'll actually go ahead and I think Curtis is responsible. We'll take him off geese and just have him responsible for these two. All right, hopefully that'll start helping us out. And Agatha is responsible for these three spots down here. There we go. And then Shawnee is responsible for, we'll have these two spots. How about these three spots? All right, hopefully that will make it so that everybody will be able to go ahead and carry on with their jobs without everything exploding. Uh, meanwhile, let's go see if we need to buy any new buses. About 20% of the customers who want, people who have been collected so far today, try to buy enough buses or upgrades, enough buses to increase the value to 100%. So like, I think less than half of the people who want to come to our zoo are able to make it so far. We need to be able to go ahead and like get, either get more buses or upgrade them to be bigger. Mm -hmm. And if we're gonna do that, I'm gonna need $10,000 in order to upgrade our buses. Do we really need to spend money to make money, I think? Like, look, the like Horizon Village and the Factory district, district really want to be able to come and visit, but they can't. So uh, it's the end of the week, so I think it's too late to spend any more of our, our big money, but I think that's gonna be one of our next goals. <sighs> okay, are animals being taken care of? Come on, keepers. Come on, Karina, I need you to come in here and start cleaning up. What about all this poop? We still need to clean up after them, Karina. All right, so let's see what we can do. We have more guests roaming around. Let's stop the births among the animals that we aren't trying to do genome research on right now. So that means when it comes to our animals, we do not need Klaus. We'll go ahead and actually adopt him out. Uh, we do not need Klaus going ahead and making more bun buns. Um, what we really need to get the next line of our rabbit crossbreeding so that we can unlock their genome hmm, is we need the creamsicle rabbit and we need the brown rabbit and we need creamsicle and the mottled rabbit. So let's actually put two of them in here Flaky and uh, Conan are now going to be in here and we're gonna to try to get that special new bun bun. Hmm, and that this bunny is different than this bunny. So now can we have Trooper and Harley? Ah, Trooper's already pregnant. I commission a fake animal, no! I am not going to commission a fake animal to get a peacock. I'm gonna be good. I am going to stand my ground. All right, so we've got Trooper and Harley and Trooper is apparently already pregnant, oh my goodness. So I think what we need to do is we need to come in and for everybody in here, let's apply contraceptives. So I, I'm hoping that that worked for everybody. So Sweetie, Bobby, Dusty. Okay, all of them no longer will be having a million babies. We'll adopt out a couple more of them. Maybe Bobby. 
We need to work on their nutrition a, a lot more because we got reported of all places to the newspaper. I was, I was just absolutely beside myself with shame. But we did get reported to the newspaper for not having enough food, nutritious food for all of our bunnies. So that made me feel really bad. So we're gonna try to go ahead and have better nutritious food for our rabbits. There we go. So let's come in here and then if I can, can I get any other pair of bunnies in here for breeding? I cannot, because it's trying to make Trooper the breeding pair. Hmm. View breeding pairs. Select a species to view the probable offspring. Yes. What if I wanted to, like, specifically pick? So that's if we view the breeding pairs. I think it's interesting how you can't manually select the animals that you're trying to breed. Hmm. But I guess that's why we have these guys in here. All right, Penny, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll actually start moving some of these bunnies around. I think I still have another male brown rabbit over here. I do with pumpkin. So we're gonna open up this habitat again. Uh, I need the keeper to come and clean this up more often. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll have someone just focus on like these three. In fact, that should be Agatha, right? Yeah, she's coming on down. I'll have her focus on this one too, and we'll take her off this one. She's just very slow, unfortunately. All right, and Curtis, what are you focusing on? You can focus on, you're already focusing on Capybara. I think that the, yeah, here, okay. So Shawnee should be taking care of this just fine. So Shawnee should be on that. Hmm. So we have Penny and Argus in here with Bugsy. So I need a female brown bunny. Oh, oh, and I don't think I have a female brown bunny. Gosh darn. Okay, so that's not gonna help me. <laughs> oh, I need I need a female brown bunny again in order to like continue my breeding efforts. All right, well, we've got a bunch of little babies. Let's go ahead and we'll donate we'll, a couple of the little babies. I know that sounds really sad, but hopefully they'll be okay. I think I need to be careful because I think your morality does get mixed around for the breeding, but we're neutral on that right now. How early babies are taken from their mother. I, like, I think that's gonna come into play later on, but it hasn't quite kicked in yet. So I think we're okay when it comes to the, the rabbits at the moment to be able to be like, we're just gonna gently move the baby elsewhere to like a foster home. <laughs> All right, now that we've taken care of that, I think we'll go ahead and try to spruce up the goose area. So let's go ahead and make sure that the geese, too old. Vinny's too old to have children. Oh, Vinny, she's so old now. What about Pinto? Pinto's too old to have children too. Oh, Pinto. Okay, Pinto, did you have any offspring? Pinto didn't have any babies that looks like Pinto. Wait, 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 no, they didn't. <gasps> you guys, that's not good. Pinto is actually kind of an uncommon at goose variety. And I did want to be able to crossbreed our geese. In fact, I think we have a goose and a snake crossbreed that we're working. <gasps> We do have a goose and a snake crossbreed. We have a goose duck. <laughs> Wait, we have a goose mixed with a duck. Is that what I chose to crossbreed? Oh, geez, Sunday League. I lead a team. Oh, we need a bigger bus. I lead a football team in Horizon Village. After we play each Sunday, we always want to visit the zoo. The thing is, your bus can only hold eight, hold, only hold eight people, and there are 11 of us on the team. If you can buy a bus that can hold all 11 of us, then chances are we'll be able to visit every Sunday after our game. Yay! Okay, so we'll try to take care of that. And now I have a duck and a goose combo. So we'll go ahead and put the duck goose in here. It actually looks so cute. Oh my gosh. All right, you know what? Our motto for reviving the entire zoo and proving to all of the residents that we are actually good people is going to be silly geese. And we're gonna try to do our best. Look at the cute little goose duck, Lily the goose duck. I love her. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and try to can I clone Pinto because we haven't run into another goose like that. Okay, I think. Wait, once we've had the animal, does that mean? Oh, you guys! I think once we've had the animal, we can go ahead and clone any of them. Yes, 
that means we don't have to actually worry about having to keep that animal present all the time. Oh, that's a huge relief. I thought you had to keep like eat one of each variety, but that really changes the name of the game. Okay, so I really would love to keep more geese like Pinto, but she's elderly and I think we'll be okay. And a lot of the other animals are actually currently not going to be able to breed, but we do have, hmm. Yeah, we need to get more ducks like Pinto. And there's, wow, there's actually a huge variety of ducks you can get to get more ducks like Pinto. Hmm. So I think we need a white goose and one of these geese right here. Oh, what's this? <gasps> a sad day! Oh no, our bunny! An animal died today at the zoo. This marks the first death since the zoo opened. A spokesperson had this to say, we try to treat our animals in the best way possible here in the zoo, but nature always runs its course. We will continue to invest in nutrition and hygiene to give our animals long and healthy lives. Giving them enough space to reduce stress is also something we need to consider more moving forward. A local butcher explained his opinion. Why is this animal any different from the ones I chop up and sell to my customers every day? Frankly, I don't understand what all the fuss is about. <gasps> oh, we had a bunny die! Oh no, is this our dead bunny? Is that the dead bunny? All right, somebody needs to come and like clean this up immediately because I am immensely distressed about this. No, that's a rock. I'm pretty sure that's a rock. Ugh. Okay, I'm much less distressed. I'm pretty sure that's a rock. Okay, all right. No more panicking, Sarah, you silly goose. See, the silly goose initiative. Okay, this is all because I'm still learning how to play. <laughs> All right, I do need to get some geese properly breeding if we are going to be able to unlock more types of geese. So I really want to get this goose uh, so that we can go ahead and try to unlock another new variety. So let's grab Chewy and we're going to grab Fergie. And those two will be kept off of exhibit while we go ahead and work on breeding them. Speaking of breeding, we have saved up so many research points because our researchers are absolutely amazing. We can get a cardboard box for animal enrichment. Oh my goodness. And we're so close to recycling bins. We're so close I can practically taste it. We're still pretty far away from the release hub, unfortunately. Um, For now, let's actually reduce pregnancy time. Publicity has gone up a little bit. I'm a little nervous about that, but I think things will be okay. Oh, and let's unlock tropical enclosures. Yes, please. Then there's themed restrooms and nature themed restrooms and water sprinklers. Oh, and a furnace that we could use to burn our trash, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold tight to being a good person. Let's see. Uh, we could also unlock the nature pack for floor. Because I, I think we need to prove to everybody that we have what it takes to be able to like grow wonderful plants. We're gonna take good care of our animals. Um, take good care of our guest. Let's save up some more research points and then we'll go ahead and see what else we can expand to. I think our biggest problem right now is that we're barely bringing in the number of guests that want to come. Hmm. Yeah, we're not bringing in even half of the number of guests who want to come. So let's go ahead and we're going to order another bus. <sighs> I'm going to make us wait. We're getting close to 10,000 and I'm hoping if I just make us wait, we'll be able to go ahead and order like the, the perfect bigger bus. So we're going to have to be patient. Oh, and I think we have an extra snake now. Yeah, now we have an extra adult snake. So I think we can actually go ahead... Oh, it's not that type of, we need a different type of snake to trade for the pigus. Darn. Let's see, does anybody have anything we can trade yet? No, okay, so we need to do some snake research if we're gonna be able to like get hyena and some of the other animals. <gasps> Look at this goose! Look at these snakes! Okay, these are, these are unique new snakes. We're gonna go ahead and add them in here. And there's a unique new goose available. We're going to go ahead and add in the goose. We just might like achieve our silly goose, in goose initiative to learn all of the goose genetics without any problems, friends. All right, maybe I'll let some of these geese selectively breed in order to go ahead and try to unlock these types. Hmm. Gray geese. Can they breed with any of the others? So I, I think... It 
some of the geese you cannot interbreed with each other. Like, we would need to have another fancy goose to breed another fancy goose. But I really like the look of the fancy goose. Alright, you know what, Genie? You're getting to the point where you're getting kind of old. I kind of want to clone Genie. And I kind of want to have a fancy silly goose. Uh, that, that's only $400. That's a lot, but let's do it. And then select DNA pair. We have 20% of the snake genome discovered, but we're at 60% with the geese because we've gotten so lucky with our geese. And I kind of want to have like a pool, like a beautiful garden with some of these fancy geese in it. We're going to make this happen, guys. We're going to make this happen. It's going to look good. Everybody's going to enjoy the, the silly goose, in goose initiative. Let me grab... And I wonder, can Lily the goose duck? So Lily the goose duck actually counts as a goose. And she actually is worth one and a half stars. So I think the star rating is connected to like the base body of the animal. Yay, our profit has gone up so much and we've repaid a little bit of our loans. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, we're doing better friends. We are doing better. Yay, not all things are doomed. We just might be, okay, we lost a lot of money from paying our bills, but we're not in the red anymore. All right, how are utilities doing? We're gonna need a lot more water in order to like generate some of that. And we're gonna need to start generating some more of our power. <gasps> What's this? Yes, okay, we ha Emanuela is ready to go ahead and give us another hybrid. I wonder if we create a duck goose hybrid again, if that would actually allow us to let them interbreed, maybe? So we're going to go ahead and let that happen. Maybe that's good to go ahead and leave that somewhat empty now and then too. All right. Meanwhile. Oh, that's me. I'm wandering around. Maybe that means I should go ahead and expand the farm. Let's see. Growing. Ready for harvesting. Dead plants. Growth time 1.5 days. Yields 1.35 crops. Crop value $5. Let's edit the enclosure here. I'm going to come in. Oh, I'm going to move this small farm down a little bit. And let me try building a bigger farm. Let's see if I can do this. It's going to be a little pricey, but I think it will pay for itself with time. <laughs> All right, it wasn't as pricey as I thought it would be because I couldn't make it as big as I wanted. But we have grass, wheat, and carrots, and we can unlock some of the other crops to be able to feed our animals. So if we plant some grass, and then over here we go ahead and we plant some of the carrots. Hmm, estimated crop value 107, wow! So is that going to be like producing our own food? I guess we need to work on like a warehouse in order to store some of that. Being able just to dive into a brand new game like this and wander around, bumping up against the sides, making mistakes, there's something kind of magical about that. I actually really love it. All right, so did we finish this task? Yes, absorbing the carbon. Yes. No, I don't want a bad reputation. At the moment, your animals have been drinking from ethical water sources. It would be uh, external water sources. It would be great if you could become self-sufficient, right? If you could build a water tower, it would collect some water for you every day. All right, we already did that, so we're doing good there. Whew, okay, thank goodness. I was worried we were gonna get in trouble with that again. All right, so let's see. Silly Gush Initiative, how's it going with the breeding? got some oh we've had a new baby new rabbit variant <gasps> we just got a new rabbit variant where's the baby go then can one tell me where the baby is oh it's a new type of snake oh is that the nene you guys it's the nene that is the oh my gosh no wait 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 i don't think that's the nene i think that's actually the canadian goose all right goose we're gonna add the goose in here all right, so then where would the baby be? We got the new lop-eared baby. Oh, it's at a nursing program. The animal is nursing and will be transferred to a public enclosure in two days. We have a new bunny. Oh, that's fantastic, you guys. All right, and then how about our geese? The geese are going to have a new baby at some point too. So the egg is currently incubating. Oh, that's wonderful. And I saw another variety of snake that we do not yet have. 
right over here. We'll go ahead and purchase it and add it in with our snakes. There we go. And I think we're coming along. I'm actually like, okay, this is the line to the bathroom. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have plenty of things we can absolutely improve about this entire zoo. But I think managing some of the food, we're, we're getting better at managing the food. We need to come in and like make sure all of the animals have better nutrition. And we should probably go ahead and be like getting some attention from a vet because I think we did unlock the vet a long time ago. Uh, but we'll carry on and kind of see where, oh, here he comes. A new snake. All right, I think we're making some progress. We're at least not in the red anymore, and our morality is slowly climbing up high enough that I can have dreams of having a really nice looking and acceptable uh, recycling center soon. <laughs> Yay! And we found another variant of snake! Oh, this is so fun. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for all of this chaos. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye